in the midst of battle, you got to remember that the gates of the enemy are going to be destroyed and uh, the rice will inherit the gates. I want you to remember that. Just like Samson carried off the gates, Judges 16 verse 3, he carried off the gates of Gaza, you know, from this very place where I am, Gaza, uh, and destroyed the stronghold. Well, it's like, that's what we're doing. We're carrying off the gates of Gaza. Genesis 22 says, God gives Abraham and his descendants, will he'll, he'll let us possess the gates of our enemies. That's what we're doing right now. That's what we're seeing right now. And the elders, those who are wise, sit at the gates and judge with authority and wisdom, not like the Hamas. They don't deserve to sit in the gates because they, they uh, corrupted the gates of judgment. They are, they're evil. And, uh, you know, there's a preparation of the gates for the Messiah. You know, Psalm 24, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O you gates, the king, so the king of glory can come in. And, and God loves the gates of Zion. So this is what I'm saying is we got to remember part of our authority is to uh, let the righteous inherit and possess the gates. The gates of hell cannot prevail. It means they can't stop us. It doesn't mean they're gonna, the gates are attacking us. They can't stop us. And there's going to come a new Jerusalem with gates, beautiful gates. Are you ready for that day? Are you preparing? Are you practicing possessing the gates of the enemy? Or are you just scared, hiding behind your gates? That's not what they're for. Stand in your authority. Overcome the challenges. Overcome the obstacles. I was my commander here, uh, just over there. He was talking, and he says, uh, and he said to me once, he said, "Take a breath and reword your sentence uh, with different words. Calm yourself. Take control of your breathing patterns." And so that's something that I learned: is is don't let tiredness or anything um, dictate how you respond. It's just so strange when we as a free democratic country act in self-defense to protect our citizens from brutal, violent, vicious terror attacks, and then suddenly we're pulled into the international court of justice in Netherlands, and, and we have to say, have to explain why are we defending our homes, what is going on here, and, uh, and so this international law, it, it says what genocide is, and that's if we were to try to, since 1948, they said, to exterminate all Palestinians, when they've grown in population, uh, millions from just a few thousand, and it's just ridiculous to think that us trying to warn our enemy and saying, please exit this area, exit that area. There's missile launchers, there's tunnels, there's threats to Israel. And at the same time, providing humanitarian aid in all kinds of different forms like medical aid. And, and how is that a genocide? We've been the victims in Israel of about 53 attempted genocides, including the Holocaust just before Israel became a, a, a nation. This is a war, not only on the ground in Gaza, you know, it's a war of words, and you are part of that war. You gotta stand up and speak out. Since we disengaged in 2005 from Gaza, they built tunnels, they built rocket launchers, and they not only shot us so many times and attacked us so many times, but they also, of course, then invaded Israel with thousands of armed gunmen. Thank you for standing for. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the peace of Israel. In these times where we're fighting for our survival, I just want to thank you also for the tactical vest and the tactical helmet. Really, on behalf of myself and all those that you're helping, thank you so very much. And now, this is for you. I want to do a resilience test of this equipment. Okay. It stands the test. Thank you. I think it's a wonderful blessing to be able to take care of these soldiers. You know, even getting a thank you is great, but what about getting blessed with hot, delicious uh, steak? You know, I think one of the best parts that struck me today was seeing all these different nationalities of people from around the world, like Taiwan and like the United States and Canada and England and so on and all, all kinds of places. And they all got to express in front of the whole group of elite soldiers from, you know, who just came straight out of Gaza, myself included. But they got to say, hey, I'm from England and I stand with you. Hey, I'm from Canada. We love what you're doing. I'm from South Africa. I stand with your people. I'm with from, uh, you know, all over. God bless the faithful Galileans for all the hard work and labors of love coming here and praying for Israel, coming here and staying with us and learning about Israel.
understanding what is this place and serving. It's raining. Others would have given up a long time ago, not the heroes from around the world who stand and bless these heroes. And so dark times, but the light shines. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.